Gun ownership in the state of Kansas is on the rise. According to the World Population Review, one third of Kansas households have at least one gun. Even though many of these guns are stored responsibly, a child can still get their hands on one. Unless the owner accesses their safe on a daily basis, they would never know if a firearm is missing until it's too late. Alarmingly, it is not only young children that are affected. Firearms are the leading cause of death in teens ages 15 to 19, which is up 30% since 2013. In many of these cases, the guns were stored in safes, but the parents were unaware the teens had the gun. We set out to add an extra layer of security for gun safe owners that would alert caregivers when someone attempts to unlock the safe. As we brainstormed, we knew that a device needed to be simple to install, easy to use, and would not alter the safe in any way. We built prototypes out of scrap materials to determine the best design. From there, I called MBA USA, a lock and safe education center. From our conversation, we discovered that at least 80% of major safe manufacturers use the same size locking mechanism. In order to learn a bit more about gun storage options and to get a retailer's perspective, we reached out to Marlon Knapp, owner of Knapp Weaponry. People think that just getting it out of sight or out of the line of sight of a child is enough. We've seen too many times the result of that which usually ends up with a child injuring or killing themselves or a friend or relative. I investigated various microcontrollers and microcomputers that would work well with an accelerometer and voice over IP tech services. Ultimately, we decided on a Raspberry Pi Zero W for the small form factor and ease of operation. I used 3D modeling software to design and print a domed case. The case attaches magnetically and is large enough to cover the lock. Our device functions very simply. Once the magnetic cover is removed from the safe's lock, the accelerometer detects motion. If the amount of motion surpasses the limits set in our code, then the Raspberry Pi will send a text message alert over the built-in Wi-Fi module to the owner. These electronic components are secured internally so that if someone tried to disarm our device, the device would have already done its job and sent a text to the owner. We interviewed Ronnie Lorenz, Goddard Public Schools Chief of Police, to get feedback on our design. The device that you have created uh, is just another layer of protection and insurance that those access codes and methods are not compromised and fall into the wrong hands, particularly kids and young adults. Our next step is to design an app that interfaces with the Raspberry Pi. The app will allow the owner to input Wi-Fi and cell phone information in addition to tracking the times and frequency of cover removal. As we delved further into the problem, we discovered so many heartbreaking stories. Every single case of accidental shootings, youth suicide, or school shootings were a cry for change. By designing a device that is safe, simple, and secure, we could prevent one more youth suicide. Stop one more school shooting save one child's life.